It's just the beginning of a new year and it already seems like a great year for tech enthusiasts all around the world. Starting with amazing CES reveals and now Apple just revealed the latest Mac Mini with the M2 chipset which seems like a pretty incredible workstation. But is it any good against the ultimate powerhouse M1 Mac Studio? Find out in today's comparison video. Starting from a sleek appearance, it's hard to notice any significant changes in the latest Mac Mini M2 in terms of design. So visually, users won't be able to tell the differences except it comes in a slightly bigger shape. But don't worry, it can be placed seamlessly on your desk just like the previous model. As for connectivity, M2 Mac Mini includes two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A ports along with an HDMI connection and a 3.5mm audio jack. Mac Studio on the other hand is much bigger and comparatively heavier than the Mac Mini which is 7.9 pounds. Other than that, aesthetically everything looks the same but it does have a pretty decent choice of ports. Four Thunderbolt 4 ports, an Ethernet jack, two USB-A ports along with an HDMI and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On top of that, you'll also find two USB-C ports on the front along with an SD card slot which is really convenient since we mostly import photos or videos from an SD card slot. So if you're looking for differences in terms of visual appearance then you're likely to get disappointed. Because the only noticeable difference is Mac Studio's bulky shape which looks like the size of two Mac Minis stacked on top of each other. Other than that, everything pretty much looks the same. As we can see, the new Mac Mini is powered by an M2 processor which includes an 8-core CPU and 10-core GPU to ensure a fast and smooth workflow. Besides that, this version of Mac Mini also comes up with up to 24GB of RAM, 2TB of maximum storage capacity and 100GB per second of memory bandwidth speed, which almost shows double the performance when it comes to using editing software such as Adobe Photoshop. On top of that, they have also added the ProRes acceleration to M2 Mac Mini, so if you love editing videos on the Final Cut Pro, then you'll be happy to know that it's now twice as fast as it was before. And according to them, their next generation neural engine is 40% faster than the M1. In comparison, Mac Studio is equipped with an M1 Max processor which has a 10-core CPU and 24-core GPU, comparatively higher than the M2 ones. Because the GPU performance here is comparable to other high-end GPUs on the market and at the same time, it contains 40% less power which makes it even more efficient. Additionally, it has 32GB of RAM which can be upgraded to 64GB at max and while also supporting up to 8TB of SSD storage which is a huge amount of space. So the M2 chipset is definitely the fastest one but let's not forget the power efficiency and impressive performance potential of the M1 Max chip as well. On the other hand, along with the Mac Mini M2, Apple has also announced the M2 Pro version of the Mac Mini and Mac Mini will definitely be the powerhouse of this new chipset. In the end, affordability is the thing that matters the most apart from performance. The starting price for the Mac Mini M2 is $599 while the price for the Mac Studio starts at $1999. So the price gap between these two devices is huge. On one hand, with less price, you're getting the latest Mac Mini with the powerful M2 chipset but on the other hand, with more price, Mac Studio is offering you a portable workstation which is capable of making all your studio work dreams come true. But yes, we have to agree in terms of price and performance, Mac Mini M2 definitely values the most. So that was all about our today's comparison video on Mac Mini M2 vs Mac Studio. Thanks for watching, if you find this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.